Hey folks, Tracy here with Scrappy's Rustics. Y'all, who doesn't love a cute, easy, simple, shabby chic little book stack? I mean, come on. We're using Petticoat Pink and DIY Paint. This is a new product from Pentart. Well, new to me. It's uh, decor varnish, soft touch. Y'all, it is so neat. It is like soft to the touch. It's matte. It's just, it, it's it's weird. It's cool, but it's weird. <laughs> We're using scrap or uh, rice paper 0509. And we're using some Mod Podge gloss to, I think gloss or satin, I don't know which that is, to uh, do our decoupage. So uh, this is very, very simple. So I just did around the edges and what would show um, without this. I'm only doing two with the uh, rice paper. So I just painted where it was needed. And these are wood books I picked up at a thrift store years ago. They were some funky colors. And one night, sometimes I just feel like painting and I just pick something up and paint it. I just happened to paint these white and it worked out um, in my favor. Because <laughs> um, usually when I feel like painting and I paint something, then I go to grab it and it's not the color I want at all. So I feel like it kind of won in this one. So it was already painted for me, but they are wood. They're super cute. And I will tell you in the end, I did not glue them together because you never know when you want to change your mind. And I do that kind of often. Um, so I just left this piece simple. So if I ever want to change it, I certainly can. I'm pretty inspired. We're redoing the cargo which is gonna be our safe house for tornadoes and it's gonna be a guest room. It's eight by 20, y'all see pictures and videos of it soon. Um, and I always wanted to do shabby chic. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do it in. However, we have a lot of men that stay over, men friends. So um, this is probably one of the very few pink things. So I'm gonna go shabby chic with like blues and um, greens. So I'm pretty excited about it, y'all. So um, so I'm just taking my baggie, I put my Mod Podge down, I'm doing the wet, wet technique. Oh, I don't know what technique. I'm just decoupaging it down. Only doing one side because you're not going to see everything. Taking my gator sander and just sanding off all the excess paper and cutting the end so I can rip it clean. And as I said, this is very simple piece, but I left it where if I ever wanted to, I can totally redo the whole thing. Um, I would just paint over the rice paper. <clears throat> it would just give me some texture. So I'd be okay with that. And um, I just love these little flowers. Any, I would love... I have some blue and white sheets like that. Um, I would love some pink and or pink and white sheets. I just think I just something about little flowers. I just love y'all. This stuff is so neat. I just recently, let's see, what month is it? Uh, end of February. I just picked some up um, to carry on the website because I like to try the products first. But this stuff is so neat. It's literally like it leaves a different texture. You can totally see, but it feels soft. It's like a really I don't know. There's some cell cell phone covers out there that are really soft and that's what this soft touch stuff feels like it's a sealer as well so we did the bottom and the top with the decoupage paper in the middle one um, just the petticoat pink and I'm going to uh, just put a piece of lace and then a piece of pink satin ribbon in the middle and just a flower and some leaves and I did not want to use hot glue like I said if I wanted to redo this in the future it'd be a lot easier um, just using a little bit of the uh, express glue opposed to the hot glue. Plus I'm not a big fan of hot glue, so <laughs> uh, yeah, it leaves lumps and you know, I just, I don't know, y'all, I just don't like it. Now, um, I when I put this on, it did take a minute to dry, so I hit it with my heat tool and that really did the trick. So from now on, when I use this express glue, um, I'm just gonna hit it with my heat tool and uh, it dries pretty quick that way, so that worked. So I'm just running a bead down the middle of this lace to put the satin pink and it's got a little design on the side as well. Just uh, give it a little added interest. There's so many ways you could go with this. You could write an inspirational saying or stamp on the side of it, or if you have a Cricut or, you know, you could put transfers on it. You could add to this um, the whole spiel. So just, you know, whatever you fancy. I just wanted to keep it simple. So there you go, just drying it. And that really worked well. So I learned, I actually learned something by doing this project myself. Um, and yeah, that express glue is pretty good stuff. And it, so far so good. Nothing's fallen off that I've used, <laughs> used it with. But hot glue, that's another story, y'all. I don't have good luck with it. And I used the good stuff, the, um, what the heck you call it? The, uh, oh my goodness, I can't think of it. We all use it. The Gorilla, oh, Gorilla Glue. Good Lord. Yeah, I used the good stuff, so I don't know. Maybe I don't apply it right. I guess there's only one way to apply hot glue, so I'm good. Look how cute that is. So simple. Love the little flowers. I didn't have anything that was big. I didn't have a big flower that was pink, so I thought this was kind of in the pink family, and it looked cute. And I believe I got the leaves and the flowers a few years back at 
um, it was either Hobby Lobby or Michael's. I want to say Hobby Lobby. And um, so I just glued those down as well. So if it ever gets redone, it'll just peel right up. But I'm pretty excited. This will be real cute on a little shelf somewhere, just tucked in a corner in our new cargo. I can't wait to decorate it. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. I slept in there once <laughs> with it just the way it is now. It wasn't bad, y'all. It's so insulated. I can't wait to show you. I got. I already have the before pictures, and um, we have a friend coming over to do the walls and the ceiling and the trim for us, which I could do. I just I don't not feeling well enough to do it myself. So we'll have him do it, and then I can do the decorating. That part I can do. There it is. Look how cute and simple it is. I just love it. It's adorable, and I hope this inspires you in some way. If you like my style, I'd love for you to smash that subscription button. Check out our website at scrappiesrustics.com. We got a lot of cool stuff. And uh, check out the linked video in the upper right-hand corner. Thank you for watching.